The history of the United States has been written across the land by a people on the move. They came first across the oceans to settle a new world. They struggled west to make a new nation. The people of America needed room to grow, room to work, to play, and develop the natural resources that were such an abundant part of their heritage. Today, this movement continues. It can be seen everywhere as America tears down and builds anew in the cities, the towns, and in the country. We are building together, not as individuals, not as states, but as a nation. One of our big blueprints is the national system of interstate and defense highways. Passed by Congress and signed into law by the President, the Highway Acts of 1956 and 1958 provide funds for a national system of 41,000 miles of safe, efficient dream roads. These roads will touch every land and water border in the nation. Will make every state accessible to you. It's a network of roads that will link our population centers. Bring anything you want to buy to your door. It will take you to work and play faster and safer. These roads will provide generous moving space for you and the 173 million Americans like you. By 1975, there will be an additional 51 million people. These roads will amply serve them too. Our nation is growing at a phenomenal rate. Each day, the equivalent of a community of 8,000 is added. Each year, enough people to populate the state of Kentucky. No wonder the men who are building today's roads are thinking of tomorrow's needs. For along with our population has grown our symbol of mobility, the American automobile. In fact, vehicle ownership is increasing at a faster rate than our population. It is expected that 100 million vehicles will be on the highways in 1975. A tremendous increase from the over 67 million autos, trucks, and buses now in use. The problem of keeping abreast of ourselves is staggering. Everywhere in America, our landscape is constantly changing as we work to construct housing to shelter 800,000 new families each year. To serve these families, there must be more stores, many new factories and warehouses, primary and secondary schools, churches of all faiths, and expanded civil and governmental facilities. Since the first American decided to go west, following generations have gone north, south, east, and west in pursuit of business and pleasure. The city family moves to the country, the small town family to the big city. Today, traditional city borders are breaking down as geographical boundaries were broken in days gone by. But our society is complex and the suburb needs the city. The city needs the suburban population. This results in a daily movement of great numbers of people to and from the city and across the nation. But the open road all too often ends in a nerve-wracking traffic jam. How we all wish it could end tomorrow. But it takes more than a wish, more than a single day. It takes many men studying for years the problems of population increase and the needs resulting from expanded automobile production. It takes many branches of government, such as the Bureau of Public Roads, 
who work with state highway departments in designing and building better highways. It takes much experimentation and testing, such as the American Association of State Highway Officials Test Road in Illinois. These tests, combined with reports and recommendations of state and governmental agencies, will result in specifications for the most efficient and safe designs to be followed in the construction of the interstate system. Because we must do more than alleviate immediate congestion. The interstate system must be a long-term improvement to be of any value to future generations. The far-reaching damage congestion has brought to thickly populated areas has stimulated planners to redesign whole urban areas in city after city. These planners recognize the vital importance of the expressways, many to be a part of the interstate system in improving, strengthening, and renewing old, worn-out parts of the city. In many areas, slums have been cleared to provide right-of-way for the construction of attractive, modern expressways. And these new urban highways have encouraged improvements of property on both sides of the right-of-way. New shopping and business centers have been built on the sites of run-down slums. Dying neighborhoods have been brought back to life by the efforts of community groups, excited by the prospect of good, fast transportation. Removing old, cramped, and run-down areas built in a bygone era has allowed the planners to put the land to more efficient use for the parks, schools, and shopping areas of modern America. These urban areas must be improved, for it is here that our population increase is most noticeable. For the population trend in this nation, which has built some of the largest cities in the world, has been to the metropolitan region. Portions of the city must give way to expressways, which will make available hundreds of times over the amount of land these communities now occupy. They will bring a new kind of living to millions of Americans. Small pleasant houses springing up near the roots of the expressways. Away from the city where nature can be enjoyed, can be a part of daily living. Work can still be in the city or in one of the thousands of low modern plants developing out where there's room to grow. Shopping becomes quick and easy for the mother of the family in convenient one-stop shopping centers with lots of close-by parking space. Recreational facilities can be reached safely without dangerous, tiring traffic congestion. This outward expansion reduces the pressure in the city. Congestion is relieved and business is attracted. New construction begins and the inner city again becomes the hub of a vigorous, prosperous area. The interstate system will bring the cities of America closer together in time, which will mean savings in hours of travel and costs for the commercial carriers and for the motorists. Farmers will discover new markets for foodstuffs, and perishables will arrive in the cities faster and fresher. Savings of hours on a trip to the stockyards means that livestock is farm fresh and at peak weights when delivered. What the farmer buys will be easier and less costly to acquire, for the small town with its industry will also benefit from the interstate system. Unfortunately, Congestion is no stranger to the small town. Much of this congestion is caused by through traffic. Vehicles coming from somewhere else on their way to another destination. This bewildering array of route markers is a typical sight in hundreds of small towns that have found themselves run over by through traffic. All too often, the resulting congestion is so severe that local parking suffers. Local shoppers dread the trip to town. 
this community had its problem solved by careful highway planning. The interstate highway is built adjacent to the city so that high-speed traffic can be diverted around the business area, thereby relieving local congestion. Protected from business encroachment, the through route remains a permanent improvement, ensuring the community against unwanted traffic. While the access roads, well-marked and easy to use, funnel business and local traffic with dollars to spend directly to the heart of town. With Main Street free from congestion and ample parking space once again a reality, the trip to town becomes a pleasure. People will come often and buy more. These new highways have changed the pattern of land use throughout the country. They have brought about a tremendous relocation of industry with workers following plants or plants moving to new labor markets. Opportunities for employment in many rural areas, as well as new markets close to home, have developed from the new industrial concentrations that have followed the construction of expressways in the country. Land values have increased in many localities. Rural America is becoming a land of motorized pleasure. Trips from farm to city, home to factory, from suburb to office, are easier and safer. Vacation trips become far more pleasant. For the farm family, the opportunities and pleasures of the city are now only minutes instead of hours away. The dream of open roads and streets, free from congestion, is becoming a reality through the interstate system. Years of study and careful testing have resulted in special design features common to thousands of miles of highways to be built in the next few years. Stoplights, cross traffic, and dangerous intersections will give way to directional interchanges which feed traffic onto the expressway. And underpasses and overpasses that carry other traffic across the road without interfering with traffic movement. Expressways will be separate from local roads. Where needed, service and frontage roads, paralleling the main roadway, will collect traffic and feed it onto the expressway at controlled interchanges. Many of these frontage roads will provide locations for new business to serve our mobile population without endangering the high-speed traffic on the expressway. Control of access and acceleration lanes will remove the dangers of cars turning into or off from the roadway at low speeds. Wide, hard, all-weather shoulders will provide emergency parking for disabled vehicles, eliminating the danger of stalled cars in high-speed traffic. Above all, our new highways will be much safer. Tragic loss of life will be decreased by wide median strips that remove the dangers of head-on collisions. And reduce headlight glare from oncoming traffic. There will be no congestion on divided lane highways wide enough to accommodate traffic volumes now and in 1975. Slow, aggravating mountain traffic through narrow passes will be removed when there is room for all to pass with ease and in complete safety. Bridges and causeways will span bodies of water that once cost hours of driving time over the in and out shore route. In time of national emergency, the interstate system will fulfill another vital function. It will aid in the rapid dispersing of metropolitan populations and allow fast transport of troops and military supplies. Ground transportation must be swift in this age of missiles that must be supplied at widely separated sites. Mobility is essential to our population in peace. It is vital in war. Every day, everywhere in the United States, more and more miles of the interstate system are being completed. 
Many miles are already available to the American motorist and commercial carrier who are learning the pleasures and safety of modern driving. Crisscrossing the nation at a rapid rate, these new highways, clearly marked by the red, white, and blue shield that signifies the interstate highway system, will soon bring us a highway network unequaled in the world. Ready for all of us to use any time for the pleasure of the vacationer and commuter during the day, affording safe, easy travel on long trips at night. Any time of the year, in any kind of weather. Elevated over busy commercial areas in one city, passing directly through buildings in another or depressed below street level in a third. Safety and uninterrupted traffic flow will become the characteristic of the American road. Made necessary by the demands of increased population and an expanding economy. Made possible through the vision of planners and by the men and materials of American industry our nation will soon travel a safe, wide, smooth highway to the future.